brush and pressurize method. Pressurization with leakage composition. Purge and pressurization system components. This demonstration is based on pressurized enclosure, wall mount type. First of all, you need to know the components used in the systems. We need air filter regulator. For the cooler, control unit, outlet valve, and last but not least is solenoid valve. Phase of leakage compensate. First is preparatory phase. Next is purging phase. Lastly, operating phase. Preparatory phase. For startup, we need to ensure all incoming power supply and the air supply is connected to the panel and all the MCBs is in the on position. Then we need to ensure all the cable entries is installed with proper cable gland or stopping plug. Close door and ensure all the cam lock is in the closed position. Then, don't forget to switch on the main power switch. The preparatory phase starts with energizing the control unit. Turn on the selector switch as one, then control unit will on. At the same time, instrument A flows via air filter regulator, surrounded valve and into the enclosure. Controller is sensing pressure. Display shows current pressure reading. Set the control unit. The enclosure is purged with instrument air to expel any potential explosive gas. Thus, over pressure build ups in the enclosure, the air outlet valve opens and instrument air flows through the air outlet valve out to the atmosphere. At this stage, all non explosion proof equipments are not connected to electrical power. Purging phase. Purging will start when pressure inside enclosure is more than 7 millibar. The purging process is controlled by control unit. Purge time will start countdown. Purge volume reach. The purging phase is complete. The solenoid valve will be closed, thereby stopping the clean air into the enclosure. Control unit display, current pressure reading, light indicator will on. Operating phase. Now, the actual operation phase begins. The installation of standard electrical equipment is now connected to power. An overpressure must be maintained which to prevent hazardous gases entering into the enclosure. The internal overpressure will be checked by control unit. If the internal pressure of the enclosure fall below the value that have been set at control unit which is below 0 0.8 millibar, an alarm signal will be sent out and indicator light for alarm pressure will turn off. Pressure loss will be compensated by a bypass runner valve until it reach pressure value that have been set. Minimum airflow will continuously supply to maintain internal pressure. Purging will start again when pressure inside enclosure is more than 7 millibar. Purge volume reach after the purging phase is complete. Light indicator for alarm pressure will on. This method is called leakage compensate. 